friends, keep your voice down. It's 6am and this morning we're off to Alicante Airport to take flight VY3118, which is Welling, which is the equivalent of EasyJet and Jet2, I'd say. No, I'd go EasyJet and Ryanair. Jet2 is a little bit more upper class and a little more high market. They serve Yorkshire tea. Well, we're off there today and we're going to fly from Alicante Airport all the way over to Tenerife. Only thing is, we're flying into Tenerife North and I need to be in Tenerife South. So we're going to have to work that one out when we get there. It's either a taxi, which is going to be about 140 euros, or it's going to be a bus, if we can find that one, which is going to be about 10 euros. I think I'd rather take the latter, but we'll work that one out when we get there. Um, anyway, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. We're going to get the bus uh, first to Alicante Airport. So we're going to head off out, get the bus. Hopefully there's a taxi outside. We're doing this one a little bit on a wing, really. So uh, <laughs> keep your fingers crossed for me. Hopefully we'll get there because we're off to my uh, mate's um, birthday over in Tenerife and to film a few videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, without further ado, my friends, <laughs> I still haven't woken up yet. Let's go. Right, so it's 12 minutes past six. There's a taxi rank down here, apparently, which I'm going to take. Uh, it's a bit of a walk. We walked it when we got here, um, but I don't want to walk down the strip at this time in the morning while it's dark. And it's a little bit nippy as well, uh, but I didn't want to put my hoodie on because I thought it was going to warm up later. So we're all set for later on. So let's go and get a taxi, get there. Maybe there's somewhere to have a coffee. Might be a bit too early. I just want to get on that bus at 7 a.m. and then get to the airport. So come on, onwards. <laughs> Right, well, I've probably uh, got here a little bit too early because it's uh, 20 past six. Uh, it cost me six euros in the uh, cab. I gave him seven, well, six euros, 10. I gave him, I said, just give me 12 back, I think. Tipped him a little bit. Um, there's normally a calf up there, but obviously it's too early, so I'm just going to have to hang about a bit. But better to be early, I guess, uh, than um, late and miss the bus. So, uh, I'll hang around, can't see anywhere for a coffee. I need, I can't start, I don't know about you, but in the morning, somebody said, are you addicted to coffee in the comment section the other week? And I was like, I'm not addicted, but you just need it to kickstart your mornings, don't you? I mean, I'm not a lover of uh, decaffeinated coffee. What's the point in that? It's like non-alcoholic beer, it's pointless. <laughs> You know, that's one thing that I miss about living in America. Supermarkets here, no coffee. Over in the States, go anywhere. Two, three, four, five, six, whenever. 24 hours a day, they've got coffee. They've got filter coffee, mind, mind you. I'm not keen on filter coffee, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, as they say. Uh, but yeah, anywhere you go, filter coffee there, and there's coffee on hand. I'm sure, it's not really here. It's not the thing, is it? Should have brought, tell you what I should have done. Should have brought my own bags of Yorkshire tea, 
Sep can you get them separately, the Yorkshire tea bags? Little separately packed Yorkshire tea bags. Little uh, jar of coffee. And um, well, there's no kettle in the hotel room. I don't know. I'll have to just wait an hour. I mean, I can get a kebab. Who wants a kebab at half past six in the morning? I probably, I guess people going home who's steaming. I tell you what, I want a coffee that badly. I'd even settle now for a camp coffee. Who remembers that? My mum and dad used to have that, camp coffee. Did it have, who did it have on the label? I can't remember what it looked like. Did it have a guy wearing a turban or something on it? I can't, I can't remember, it was many years ago. Can't even remember what it tasted like. I mean, I draw the line at chicory coffee. Was that chicory? I've, anyway, I've now, where's this going? It's an aeroplane flight video and we're talking about coffee. <sighs> Another 25 minutes. Oh, right, here we are, Alicante Airport. First things first, Starbucks. Let's get that coffee, let's get that caffeine and kickstart my day. I tell you what, that bus, absolutely excellent, really, for the price. Takes about 50 minutes uh, to get here and uh, sound, no issues at all. So, uh, highly recommend it. Um, somebody did actually pay cash in the morning, but I went and got my ticket before, just in case, and you're better off doing that. Nipping underneath, literally behind where I got the bus. Just go down and get your ticket, and uh, sound of the pound. Right, caffeine time. Hello, a small... Uh, a latte for the book. Gracias. Right, so I've got my Starbucks. Now, I've got a little bit of a special guest today because Fiona here emailed me, didn't you, the other day? I'm going to turn the camera around one second. So you emailed me, didn't you? Yep, I emailed you. And, and it's you... your son's birthday yes, today. That's right, yeah. And he's 26, we've worked yes. out. Yeah, we'll my maths is not very good. <laughs> so, uh, in fact, you worked it out, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And Conrad's here, so it's a happy birthday. You've come, how many miles have you come down? We've come about 40 miles. 40 miles? Come and say hello. 40 you? miles, brilliant. Can you give us a thumbs up? Excellent. <laughs> and you've and he's brought me a little bit of cake. Here we go, let's have a look at that. Right into the sun. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Lemon curd cupcake. <laughs> Lemon curd cupcake. So this is the this is one of your birthday cakes then, isn't it? There we go. Brilliant. To go with my Starbucks. What about that? 
Right, I'll tell you what, I'll eat that in a minute, and then when I put the camera down, I want everyone's going to... Actually, do you know what? I reckon normally I would say onwards and subscribe, but not today. Do you know what we should do? You know what we should do? I reckon. Should we say after three? Should we just go happy birthday, Conrad? Okay, so three, two, one. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Conrad. Conrad. That's a 10. Yep. 10 out. Wow, that is nice actually. That's very nice. <laughs> That's my breakfast sorted. Bit of Starbucks. Oh, yeah. That. That's, that's actually, do you know what? That's made my day, that one is. <laughs> <laughs> made more day, that one is. Right. Can we all say onwards, my friends? Ready? Three, two, one. Onwards, onwards my onwards. friends. Oh, right, so uh, there we go. What a lovely family. Um, so Fiona, the mother of uh, Conrad's mother, emailed me the other day and said, oh, we live in Spain now. Can we pop down and see you? It's his birthday. So I emailed him back and I said, yeah, sure, if you want to do that, I'll meet you outside Starbucks. So um, I, originally I did say, do you want to be on camera? And she said, oh, I'm not sure. So I, that's why I didn't mention it. But uh, what a lovely family. I tell you what, that cake, I'm gonna, yeah, it was definitely a 10. It was absolutely gorgeous. Just what I needed with that Starbucks. Right, let's get, um, I've got priority and I've got fast track as well. Uh, so, and I'll tell you what the, how much the flight was in a minute. I'll just find out exactly off my phone and, um, and then we'll uh, go through that. So come on, onwards my friends. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to meet you on the other side because uh, we've got the Guardia Civil there and you can't film um, the police in Spain. Uh, apparently it's not allowed and they've got batons. So uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. I've got fast track, so I shouldn't be long. 8.43, so we'll see how long it takes. Right, OK, so it's 9.09 .09 now. I paid for fast track um, and it wasn't that much quicker, to be honest. It was a bit disorganised. Uh, a bit of a nightmare. I've also got priority boarding as well. Uh, I haven't had a chance to look how much the flight is yet, so you're gonna have to bear with me. We're gonna go through duty free. I'll have a quick look, but last time I was here at duty free here, I was told, you're not allowed to film in duty free. I thought, why is that? Just because it shows how expensive the prices are. Come on, that's controversial. Right, so through duty free, it's 9.20. Got a little time to wander around, have a look around, uh, and then uh, get to the gate. So, duty free, was it any cheaper? Let me know in the comment section down below. Right, so Vueling, 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 I think it is. Uh, it cost me £190.44 
uh, to go from here at Alicante uh, direct to Tenerife North Airport. That included uh, fast track and also priority boarding as well. Uh, that's one way. So uh, not exactly cheap. There, I have heard some say, and it is only allegedly, that if you are Spanish, then it's actually cheaper. But somebody told me that. You never know. Could be just could be just not true. Anyway, let me know in the comments section down below. If you're Spanish, do you get it cheaper? I don't see how they would know, really. I suppose your passport, I guess. But anyway, let me know in that comment section. All right, come on, onwards. Sunrise, beautiful time of the day. Beautiful time of the day. Right, stop right there. We've got Jamie here. You're from Northamptonshire, aren't you? Yes. A viewer right. of the channel. Yes. You even knew that I'd forgot my tripod once, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And you've just told me some inside info as well. What's that? Well, it's all right having the Mac Master in here, but I've been upstaged by Mac Goss. <laughs> yeah, he's walking around here somewhere. Yeah. Can't see him now. Well, what I want to know is when will I be famous? Well, you already are. No, you sure I did there. When will I, will I be no. famous? <laughs> Cat and pigeons, mate. Cat and oh, see, hey, hey. <laughs> now, come on, drop the boy. Anyway, uh, so, <laughs> enough of that. I have to try and catch, catch nice. him with Matt Goss. Is he the, which one is he? Singer. Uh, he's a singer, is yeah. he? Yeah, I thought he lived yeah. in Los Angeles. He does, he does, but I don't know what he's been doing here. He's probably been on a date with Sticky Vicky, I don't know. <laughs> now, that is controversial. <laughs> so, you've been to Benidorm? Yeah, five times. Five times? Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, you've been in Dome Down now, aren't you? Yeah, we are, yeah, we've, we've seen it all now. We're gonna try Tenerife. Watch, yeah. Watch some more of your videos and go Tenerife. Do Tenerife, go and see the Crackmaster. Crackmaster. Yeah, go and do some, um, go and do some excursions and stuff. Jump. Did you see the one where I jumped off of a cliff in Tenerife? No. Have a look at that one. All right. That's going back a bit now, mm -hmm. but I did para, paragliding, is it? I jumped off the cliff and, uh, yeah, whether I'd do it again, I'm not sure. I don't, maybe not. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll do that. Which airport are you back off to now? Birmingham. Birmingham Airport? Yeah. And then down the M1? Down the A4, yeah, M1, A14. That's it? To a place called Desborough. Desborough? I've heard of Desborough. What's, hang on a minute. What's that? What's, what's Desborough famous for? Uh, Is it something to do with aircraft? No? No. No? No. I can't say what Desmond's famous for. <laughs> Not on camera. No, you tell me off camera. <laughs> you, no, don't even tell me in the comments section. Right, can you say onwards, my friends? Right. Onwards, my friends. They're just coming on their holidays. Hopefully they've got some good weather. So, we're ready to get on board. Uh, seat number 6A, so we're near the window. So hopefully we're gonna uh, see some sights along the way. Is it just water? Where are we traveling over? Oh, well, hopefully we'll see something anyway. Take off, in flight, and landing. So uh, make sure you're subscribed and fasten your seat belts. Glad I got priority.
right on board. So I'm six foot four, leg room, probably, probably I'd say probably a little bit less than Jet too. Um, don't know about Ryanair. Yeah, seats though. Bit odd, but they have got Wi-Fi on board apparently. So uh, whether it's free or not, I don't know. I might have to pay for it. I'm guessing. the tray table stowed and the window blinds raised. Your belongings must be stored in the overhead lockers or under the seats in front of you. Smoking is forbidden, both traditional and electronic cigarettes, and the toilets are fitted with smoke detectors. Electronic devices may only be used in flight safe mode. Charging electronic cigarettes is strictly prohibited. Illuminated signs must be obeyed at all times. Smart luggage must also remain in flight safe mode and may not be used to charge anything else. If you notice any overheating in your electronic devices or if you have any questions, your cabin crew are here to help. Sockets and USB ports will only be switched on during the flight. Until then, and for safety reasons, electronic devices must be unplugged. Remember to keep an eye on your devices at all times. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, please let your cabin crew know immediately. Thank you. Cabin crew boarding completed. So just said uh, Wi-Fi is actually not available on this flight. Uh, that's what they said in Spanish. I've translated it. There's always one in there.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tenerife North, Los Rodeos Airport, where we have landed at 7 minutes past 1 p.m. local time. Bienvenidos al aeropuerto de Tenerife Norte y Los Rodeos, donde hemos aterrizado a la 1 y 7 hora local. Ladies and gentlemen, we inform you that this embarkation will be in groups of five rows. Once the seatbelt sign is off, please remain in your seats until instructed by the cabin crew. Thank you. Passenger seat it in rows. One, two, five. May now get ready to disembark by the front door. Thank you. Passenger seat it in rows. Six to ten. May now proceed to disembark. Thank you. Tell you what, getting off the plane, all, all the plane companies should do that. Getting them off in rows because it's like a mad rush otherwise, absolutely crazy. Right, I'm just going to find out, Tenerife Visitor Centre, I'm going to find out how to get to the south. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so apparently it's two buses to get there or I'll wait till five, but then I'm going to miss Daniel's party, my mate's party, so... Um, I can get a bus to Santa Cruz, apparently, and then get a bus from there to Costa de Decky. Uh, I also checked out getting a car, but a one-way fee is about $140 um, with Avis, and that's the only ones that had actually got any cars left. So, I'm going to head down to the bus station uh, and ask them what's the best thing to do. I just want to get over to Costa de Decky as quickly as possible now. Right, so I'm going to try and get a bus to Tenerife South Airport and then from there I can get to Costa Decky. Right, so I think I've done it right anyway. <laughs> um, got a card, uh, put top to tilt, it cost me £2 for the card and then I've put £10 on it. It is nine, £10, Euros, um, typical Brit. Um, Nine euros seventy, so I should have enough on it because I've got ten euros on it. So uh, I should have found out the time of the bus, though. Actually, I think hopefully it arrives soon. We're now at one forty-two. I'm pushing it. I'm cutting it fine. Right. Well, it's going to be really tight to try and get to, on the boat with Daniel for his birthday. However, um, plan B. So we're going to get the bus to the airport, and then which is like less than a ten, tenner, isn't it, ten sheets. Then we're gonna get a taxi from Tenerife South over into uh, Las Americas, which would be about oh, 20 or 30, so it'll be cost 40 euros altogether, better than 140 euros. Um, and then I'm gonna go and meet him later for dinner, because he's going for dinner at eight. So, uh, missed the boat. Oh, I missed the boat. Oh, well, there's a saying for you. Anyway, but we'll get all the views along the way to Tenerife South, so stay with me. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed the view uh, and you've enjoyed the journey, just give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Right. It's like waiting for a bus, isn't it?
Right, I know where I am now, Tenerife South Airport. Sorry about the wind, it's very windy. I'm gonna grab a taxi now. Oh, I feel better now. <laughs> north Airport, rubbish. We weren't the same. South better. Grim up north, <laughs> even here. Right, my friends, made it to the hotel. So I'm at Park Santiago 2, uh, and I'd like to say thank you to uh, Desi and Derek. Uh, I've been here before, because they've um, rented it out to me. If you want to rent their apartment, by the way, I've done a video on that before, uh, and this is where I'm stopping, Park Santiago 2. Fantastic place, great apartment. Uh, I'm gonna link that video in the description down below and also at the end. So if you want to rent an apartment here in Tenerife, have a look at that video, it shows you all around the apartment. Uh, you can have breakfast down here as well, a Scottish breakfast. Um, so check that video out if you're thinking of coming over here and uh, you want a really nice apartment to stay at. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get my head down for about half an hour now, blimey. From Benidorm to Tenerife, good grief. Hey, it rhymes. <laughs> anyway, do me a favor as well. Also hit that um, subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications when I upload new videos, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, it is free, and what it does is it pushes it out to other people out there who love Benidorm and also Tenerife. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, the taxi uh, was 30 sheets. 30 sheets to the wind. So 30 quid plus the bus, 30 euros plus the bus, 40 all in. I'll take that over a taxi of 140 quid. So I just went down to Tenerife South. So if you do land at the north, it was a bit of a, I don't know whether it was just me. It just seems the, the airport didn't seem to have any soul to it. It was a bit, I don't know. Anyway, could be just me. Anyway, bye-bye.